I mean, she walked in here right now, and I introduced myself and Ruth to you. She'd just look at you. Well, if you didn't know, you might say, well, what's wrong with her? Well, she can't process the information. So what this Dementia Friendly City, what it does is, it's a training program. First, we, we focus on our first responders, police and fire. Now, you, think, you may think that they're very well equipped to handle emergencies like this. They're not. A lot of doctors aren't, aren't equipped to handle. I mean, they're not familiar with dementia patients and Alzheimer's patients. They're just really not. So the first, uh, the, uh, the education becomes uh, a small amount of training, which Florida Caregivers Network will do that here in Seminole. Then after we get to those folks, we're going to get to the uh, businesses. Uh, we'll go to the large restaurants. We'll go over to Publix. We may go to places that uh, are, are frequented a lot by, by people, particularly when our snowbirds are down here. So there's a lot of people like that. And those are the ones with the caregivers. There are a lot of others out there driving cars, running around the city, in the early stages of dementia, who don't even realize it yet. So the, the person working over at the Dairy Queen may be the first person who sees the symptoms of an el elderly person or maybe even a middle-aged person to come in with uh, dementia. But we want to get the city to be more friendly, toward, to be aware is probably, dementia friendly is good, but to be more aware that there are a lot of things going on around you. And oh, by the way, as we recently learned with uh, looking at the research, dementia now is number one in cost to our nation. It's number one, followed by heart disease, and in third place is cancer. That's changed over the last 10 or 15 years. For years, it was the cancer was the biggest bill, then heart disease. Dementia has now exceeded those two as the number one. So, so the impact on, on our society and the things that we're going to have to do locally, particularly as, our, as the baby boomers, folks like myself, get older and older, I mean, we're going to have to equip our cities, we're going to have to, uh, to equip our people to be responsible citizens and become more aware of what's going on. So that's kind of what Purple Cities is all about.